Hey everyone, uh, I'm gonna do a quick video on how to use data picker uh, or a picker view. Now, last time we did the table view to list a, a bunch of items and we select that item and it just send it back to the previous screen. Today, we're gonna use another way. It's a very common way, which is uh, <laughs> picker view. So the idea, we will have a list of items in a picker view, you select one, and then when you click on submit, it will display the one item that has been selected. So I have a simple application, just you can create a simple app. We have a label, we have a button. These labels are button are tied to the uh, view controller. If you see the assistant. So here is the, uh, here's the label that is tied to a function called get an item. Uh, sorry, the uh, submit tied to a function called get item. The label is just nothing but an outlet to the label. All right. So let's visit. First, what we need to do is that we need to add a view picker to this, uh, to the view controller. So picker view. So what I'm going to do, you click on the plus quickly. And the plus, you select picker view. If you type in picker, you will get two types of view pickers. One is the date. That's the one that is the sitting. You I get the system allow you to pick a date, but the one that we're interested in is this one here, pick a view. So you simply add it, drag it here, and now we need to create the outlet to it. So we click on the assistant, drag, and then we're gonna call it item picker. All right, and we click on connect. All right, so that's all we have to do from the uh, in the uh, in the storyboard. Added a picker view, connected it to the class. Now, if we go to the view controller, I have already defined an uh, array. This array has a list of the items that we're going to display. First thing you need to do, you need to make sure you need to tell this this picker on the view controller that where to get the data and who's the delegate to handle an interaction with that picker. So we're gonna do um, UI picker view delegate. We're gonna implement the delegate uh, protocol. And then we're gonna also, this sort of class is going to be also the data source for that picker. So we're gonna say it's also UI uh, picker data source. When you do this, you will get errors and it says you need to implement the methods that are required for these delegates. So you click on that. Says you want to add the protocol stubs, yes. And now I have two methods. Those are the minimum methods that are required. I'm going to put them at the end. Uh, these methods are for the number of rows and the number of components. Picker views, you can have multiple columns of a table and you can have multiple rows. Because we have only one value to list, one column to list, this, this, uh, this method will tell us how many columns you have, and we have only one. So I'm gonna return only one. And for the picker view, it's usually the count of the items that you want to list. And typically these are coming from a collection. So I have the collection that I wanna list in that item, in that picker view, and it's, this, it's called item.list. So if I say item.list, I wanna return item.list, return item list, and then I simply put the count, right? So whatever the count of these items, in this case, it would be four, all right? So that's those two functions. There's one more functions that you need to, to implement, which is basically where to get the uh, title of that, that what you want to display in that picker view. And then you need to implement another method. And that if you start typing picker view, you will have one called picker uh, view title row, all right? And this will give you the integer, uh, two things, the, the row and the component. So <clears throat> it's required a string. So what do you give it back? You give it back basically from the list items, list items, item list, and then you use the row that is being passed to you in this function. So because we have only one component, you don't need to worry about specifying the component. So we'll say return the row. And now uh, we can just simply run it and see what happens. 
So this method is required to display the titles in the, the, the picker. This one will tell you how many elements in the picker and how many components or columns in the picker. So let's just simply run it and see what happens. <clears throat> we'll make sure this works. Let me implement the last method needed in this uh, IB action. All right. So where is that? Okay. So now I have, oh, one thing that is missing. I keep making that mistake. Well, we implemented this protocol, but the problem is that we need to tell it, we need to tell this picker view, the outlet that where you to get the data and who's the protocol. We usually do this in the view did load. So what do we do? We say uh, picker item or item picker dot delegate equals self. And then we say item picker dot delegate equal, I'm oh, sorry, that data source equals self as well. All right, now it should work. So now if I run it, and we usually do this in the view did load. So I got my items. These are my items. These items are from the array. So if you add another item, and then run it again, you will get five items in the, in the picker view. All right, so now you got your five items. Now we want to implement this guy here. Now, there is when you run the application, you could monitor all the, as you select different item here. You could monitor for that, and you can implement the method for. Uh, the, and I'll show you how to implement that method. But we're doing it a little bit differently. So if you select the item, what I click on when I click submit, I want to get the selected item and display it in that label. Either way is fine. So how do you do this? What are we going to do? We're going to do, uh, first we need to get which element is being selected. So first, okay, you say let index equal pick, uh, item picker dot selected row, and then you need to give it the component. Now we have only one component, but because we're using an array kind of like uh, like in a collection, usually the first element is zero. So I'm gonna put, give me the selected element in component zero. Now after this, I'm going to say label uh, item the text, the label that we have equal, basically use that index as an element, as, as, an, as an index in this array to get the value. So if I say item, list and then get, use the index and that will give me the value from that array. So I use the selected index from the list from the picker view and I use the same index in the array to get that element and I will simply uh, display it in the label. The other way you can do this, if you type in picker view, you will see that did select a row. So you could implement this method and with this you can do the same thing here if you want. Same idea. And this will give you, as you select different item, it will change it. And I'm gonna actually, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do that same thing. So, but I got here, I got the row already. So you could copy this, copy, put that here, and let's see how it works. All right, so I'm showing you, oh, we got an item. Uh, oh, we don't have row index here, we have row actually. So now what do we have here? If we run it, you'll see as I select these, it changes, right? But I also can do it this way, all right? So these two ways that you can display, get an item from a picker view. It's a simple lesson. Uh, picker views are very important, uh, just like table view. Uh, quick lesson, sweet, and I'm done with this, and I'll see you on the next video.